Welcome to Zerk Think Says. I've just noticed at this point I'm at uh, f f 50 episodes. You know, I thought, well, I would never make 50 episodes. But then I started making them really quickly and I thought, wow, I'm going to make 50 episodes really soon. And then I slowed down, so I thought, well, it's going to take me a while to make 50 episodes, especially when they're like 20 minutes long. But now I've got back to a stage where I can make really short videos and upload them really quickly. I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm getting more and more confused the more I do this, even though this is supposed to be like a thorough kind of just saying stuff, then it's archived down, then I get to analyze it, so it should be making things less confusing, but it's actually making things more confusing. So I'm starting to lose my way a little bit, like a, um, you know, like one of those uh, samurais without, uh, like a, like, like a, like a samurai without a sensei. Um like a ronin, you know, like a uh, rogue ninja, some shit like that, that's fucking badass, it's not, I can't say that sort of stuff when I'm wearing like a black shirt, and everything I own is black, uh, I mean, you try and be edgy or something, I mean, there's nothing wrong with black stuff, like black clothing and being edgy, uh, or having black skin and that kind of thing, you know, colors and shit is really just, as a topic, kind of boring. Like color theory in general, like, I don't know, it's a waste of time. But yeah, like I said, I keep losing my way. I'm talking about like colors and stuff and samurai, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to make jokes. I want to talk about interesting topics. But that stuff's really not easy to just to just do. You know, just, you just, just, just start doing that sort of stuff out of nowhere. Uh, out of nowhere. Ha, <laughs> that's a meme. See, I'm losing my fucking mind. Maybe I should kill myself. That's what inspired me to do this. That's what's gonna inspire me to end this. Maybe that's all I need to do. Suicide is the answer to every problem. Um, but that, then I can argue that I don't really need to kill myself because I don't have a problem. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with not having content. I'm fine with being lonely, an emotional husk of what I could be. I'm fine with not achieving my maximum potential and wasting every second of my life doing absolutely nothing productive and feeling bad about it, even though I don't really feel bad about it. I don't regret the time that I spent doing nothing. I just don't like the idea that I'm gonna keep doing this forever and keep putting uh, obstacles in myself and say reasons for example the way it's like now nah, I'll do that I'll do that uh, I'll do that next year start that some other time you know I'll, 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 I'll hold it off hold off on it wait a little bit and do it when I feel in the mood you know just those kind of excuses to just put things off I don't feel bad about not doing it I just feel like if I'm not gonna, if I'm gonna keep doing that, then I'll never do anything. And at that point, if I'm never gonna do anything, and I'm not enjoying life, maybe I should kill myself. And that, and t to actually suggest that I shouldn't, I think there'd no be no good reason unless I decided to do things that were more worth doing, like stuff that was enjoyable or stuff that would make me think hey I would rather not be dead now because it's like or like hey I'm glad I didn't die because then if I'd have died I wouldn't be able to do this I know you are you then you can then argue then well if you're dead you don't get to regret dying which is a good thing but uh, you know there are loads of people that get pissed off if you kill yourself like I don't care too much if they if people would get pissed off like you know for example the the big one is usually most people if you kill yourself your mum or your parents in general your family in general most of your parents they'll they'll be pretty annoyed like well I, I brought a kid into the world so that I could uh, you know pass on my genetics uh, and then my kid killed himself so you know, I don't get any more genetics back into the human race. And that would probably piss off your parents. Uh, but that's not, that's not a, 
enough of a reason to not kill yourself. Like, if you really want to die, just do it. You have to not not let other people get in the way of what you believe in. Don't let them stop you from doing what you want to do. It's your life, and you can take it away from yourself if you want to. Don't let them stop you. Um, although most of the time, if you think you want to kill yourself, you probably don't. Like, you think you do, but you don't. Classic Blizzard. Usually, it's because you're confused, and you can't see any alternative methods, and then you logically conclude that because you can't see any, there's no point trying to find any, because you're already in the emotional state that makes you think that committing suicide is a good thing. Like, I think it is always a good thing to commit suicide, but there are some situations where you maybe could be useful to humanity, so you know, stay alive for that. If you don't care about humanity, you don't care about what other people think, you don't care about yourself, you don't really care about anything, then yeah, I'd say go for it. Uh, but just before you kill yourself, you, you could do some crazy stuff that's like really cool to do. And then you've got the option of killing yourself afterwards anyway, because you were going to die anyway. Like, you were going to kill yourself, why not go skydiving? Or why not go rob a bank? Do something, you know, really exciting, get the adrenaline pumping. Um, don't do anything that is like, that's uh, going to really bother other people. Like, I mean, I can say, just go do whatever you want to do. But I know that there are some kind of psychopathic people out there who would say, if I'm going to kill myself, I might as well go and kill some other people, you know. Might as well just go shoot up a school, or might as well go and rape somebody. So, yeah, I think to, to, to those kind of things, maybe don't do that, because you're leaving behind a bunch of mess. But do something that's exciting to you. Like, for example, you do, like, a huge amount of drugs before you kill yourself. It's like, you're going to kill yourself anyway. You might as well do something fun. Uh, oh, here's, here's a suggestion. Take out, like, a massive bank loan so you have loads of money. And then just do it. Spend it all doing a bunch of crazy shit. You know, like, one of the, apply to a bunch of those different uh, loan websites where they lend you, like, 250 pounds or 500 pounds. But they lend you it at a really, really high premium. So if you don't pay it back within five days, you end up owing like 3,000% a year. Some crazy shit like that. But if you're going to kill yourself, it doesn't matter. Because you, you take the loan out, spend all the money, and then kill yourself. What I suggest you spend that money on, holidays. But it's not really a holiday, it's more like you go into a certain destination, do some stuff like, I don't know, go to some hot climate and fight sharks or something. Hey, if you don't kill yourself, let the shark kill you. That way you get to die to a fucking shark, and that's cool. Uh, or a stingray. Get killed by a fucking stingray, little bitch. <laughs> you, you die to a stingray. Kind of makes you a pussy. Especially if you could have been dying to a shark. Or a crocodile. I'm not ref 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 referencing to uh, any anyone in particular here, but uh, there was that Australian guy who did get killed by a stingray. With all things considered, he could have died in a much better way. Not that he should have died, but uh, he didn't want to die, he didn't have to die. But his death was a bit of a pussy death, all things considered. Another thing you could spend the money on is uh, donate to my PayPal account. Because if I was the one who convinced you to commit suicide before you die, you at least owe me a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a pay up a little bit. Because, you know, I helped you out a bit. If I'm helping you kill yourself, you can help me to stay alive. I'd do the same for you if I was going to kill myself. And you, in some way, had some influence on me that made me think, yeah, I'm going to kill myself. I'll give you some money for, you know, that's what I'd do. Because then I don't owe it to the loan company. You do, but you're dead. It's a clever little gimmick there. 
only works if you're going to kill yourself or if you're going to go off the grid disappear or something if it's illegal to do that I don't think it is like why would it be illegal to well, it's illegal to kill yourself but it's not illegal to take out a loan it's not illegal to take out a loan and, it's, and, and then die if you die it's the, the loan company's not going to be like well let's arrest this dead person it's like well they they got a loss they lost out on some money what can they do they can't go and demand that the dead person gives them money because they're dead <laughs> so yeah kill yourself and uh, give me all your money that's what this boils down to happy uh, happy 50 episodes to, to Zerk Zank says and uh, make sure your death is a glorious one <laughs>